<clears throat> doing this after midnight was not the best idea. All right, so I just got done watching all eight Harry Potter films for the 800th time. I noticed something that I've kind of always seen, but it's become an actual, you know, conscious thought that one of the biggest reasons Harry is able to become a leader is also the same reason that he's able to make almost everyone a friend, his vulnerability. He's not the smartest, not the brightest, not the fastest, not the strongest, not the most gifted witch or wizard that there is at pretty much anything except maybe flying, but even that's arguable. But he's open to admitting his faults and seeing where he could be better and hearing, understanding, and viewing other people's perspectives. I mean, just with this one quality alone and everything else that it, it then translates into. He could actually have a family without even understanding that this is a, a big glue factor as to what makes a family. And these are very important things to note for anyone who is in a similar state of mind as myself at the current moment, which is to say anyone who's doing a rebuild of their view of the world, their relationship with themselves, and their interpersonal relationships. It's not about being the strongest or most clever or most physically fit or fastest or best at flying or essentially being a walking encyclopedia. It's not about being the best at anything individually. It's about becoming better selves with each other and for each other. Within my grief due to multiple losses that I had uh, within the past six months, I have been on a massive introspective journey. Yes, even at 34 years of age. And currently I'm at the point in my journey as to where this message hits, which is why I made so few friends through life, why I felt I did not have a family dynamic with pretty much anyone outside of my grandmother and grandfather on my mom's side until my wife came along when I had her in my life. And I'm nowhere finished on this introspective journey of mine, but I do have a message for anyone else who's in a similar position. It's okay to let life fuck you up and to fuck up your view of the world and even your view of yourself, it's okay. But you have to be brave enough to hear that you're wrong and embrace that understanding to move forward with that knowledge. Because it's never too late to rebuild the relationship with yourself, which can then translate to how you are able to have these relationships with others, to be vulnerable. So thanks for listening to my concise rant, and I'll see you guys on the next video.